What do you build me up? Buttercup and it just to let me down And mess me around in the worst of all What is going on guys? I am back with another review of a day at an amusement park and today I will be talking about June 7th at Thorny Park. Yes, the visit when, when, that we're on our way back from right now. So anyway, let's just get started. And by the way, EB is our guest again today. <laughs> and so yeah, anyway, when we first got in the park, we headed down to the lower midway only to find that Possessed was closed. So we had to go to Steel Force instead. And that was a really good ride on it. And after Steel Force, we headed to Thunderhawk, which was an all right ride on that. I mean, we our lap bars came down on us, but that always happens. And yeah, so after Thunderhawk, we went over to Cornstalker's site because something might be happening with it. Hmm, so what's the answer to So after that, we discovered that Thunder Creek Mountain was closed. And so we headed to Hydra which was a good ride on it. And then after Hydra, we got changed for Whitewater Landing, which was like, which was like an eventful ride on it because the guy kept saying, please keep your shoes on. And yeah, so that was something I never heard of them making you put your shoes on, especially on a water ride, like so ridiculous. But anyway, so after Whitewater Landing, we headed to Wild Water Kingdom, where get this, only half of Wild Water Kingdom was, uh, I mean, half of Wild Water Kingdom was closed, like literally. And yeah, so, uh, so that was a r major disappointment. So we we ate at Papa Luigi's when we got to Wild Water Kingdom, and then we headed to Aqua Racer, which was a really good ride on it. And after Aqua Racer, we headed to Snake Pit, where luckily, before it closed for the day, I was able to get a ride in on Constrictor. With, yeah, and that was a good ride on Constrictor. Constrictor is my favorite tube slide on this complex because of all the freaking crazy elements and stuff. And after Constrictor, we headed to Runaway River. And after Runaway River, <laughs> we headed to... We headed back to Snake Pit for a re-ride on that, which was really good. We rode both the blue and the green separately. And I when I first rode the blue first and then the green, and EB first rode, rode the green first and then the blue. And so after the Wild Wire, after the Snake Pit, we headed back to Aqua Racer for a re-ride since there really wasn't much open. So after, the after the after Wacko Ra Aqua Racer, we headed to Wildwater Cove because like it was like nothing was open. So we did one cycle in Wildwater Cove, and then we headed to Thunder Canyon, only to find that it was closed. Sadly, so we couldn't get on it at all. So then we got changed, and then headed for a ride on Talon, which was really good. And after Talon, we headed to Dodgem, which was a good ride on that. And after Dodgem, we rode Wave Swinger, which was a really decent ride on it. And after Wave Swinger, we headed to Meteor, which was a decent ride on it. And yeah, after Meteor, we headed to Kaleidoscope, which we had a decent ride on that because my good old friend Noah, the ride op, was moving really fast. And yeah, so after Kaleidoscope, we headed to the Ferris wheel for a good ride cycle on that. We were able to get lots of shots. And after the Ferris wheel, we headed to the Enterprise, which was a good ride on that. And after Enterprise, we headed back to the Tilt-A-Whirl for a ride on that. And after the Tilt-A-Whirl, we headed to Demon Drop, which was a good ride on it. And yeah, so after Demon Drop, we checked on the area again because they had removed more of Cornstalkers, which was really crazy. 
And yeah, so after uh, the corn stalkers investigation, we did the whip. And after the whip, we headed to Chickies and Pete's. We did both of those things because it was pouring down rain, kinda. And so after those two things, we headed for a ride on Dominator Red, which was really good. And I could already see Jabbar looking at me. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> Jabbar was already staring at me at, on Dominator Red. And they gave me a hard time about my glasses on Dominator Red, too. So I had to pull out this strap which is like falling apart at this point <laughs> but after dominator red we headed to dominator green where the real judgment started he he bit, he saw my <laughs> shoes and socks and me barefoot and then he like and then he like gave me a smile and he was like i'm not even gonna ask <laughs> questions today i'm not and then one minute later he broke his word and said well no but is that is this what you do before every ride take off your socks and then uh, and then we had to explain to him that it was only the rides we that the rides that allow it and then and so yeah after that he was talking to that girl about it and he got her onto me even and he and he was like to her look he got no socks on <laughs> 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 uh, and shout out Jabbar yeah shout out Jabbar and yeah <laughs> so anyways when we started going up that girl was even like he's got no socks on <laughs> which was really funny I've never had someone other than EB point out my feet until now <laughs> so after that ride on Dominator Green which I put my hands up again and it felt good on Dominator Green by the way and so after Dominator Green we headed to the monster for a good ride on that we actually got spins on monster this time along with the Tota Whirl and so after Monster, we headed to Revolution, which was an okay ride on that, that because we at first we got the low side and then the high side. And after that disappointing ride on Revolution, we got two rides on Steel Force, one in the back and one in the front, both of which were very good. And after Revolution, we stopped at Rita's, which was a really good treat because as you can see my teeth are all red because I had a cherry Italian ice and look in my tongue is red and yeah so after that uh, we headed to Hydra which was a good backseat ride on it but we felt a rattle this time Hydra is really showing its age so after Hydra we headed to wild we I mean we headed to Meteor for a re-ride on that which was really good and after meteor we ha actually headed to our first ride on wild mouse for the season because lines weren't that bad and we saw my good old friend maggie on it maggie being right up on it so maggie if you're watching this the shout out goes to you and so shout out maggie and anyway after that after the wild mouse we headed to talon for our final ride of the night in the front row and after our front row ride on talon we headed to the Good Time Gifts, only to find out it was closed. I was planning to get all four of those Nano Coaster models today, and I would have had you guys stay tuned for a Hydra, Hercules, Coaster, and Thunderhawk one, but Good Time Gifts is closed, so sadly you'll have to wait till in the future for the for a video of me building those. And yeah, so anyway, so after that disappointment, that basically concluded our day at Thorny Park. So make sure to reply to me your thoughts on this video and check out my merch store if you haven't. Uh, I'll have a link in the description. I have t-shirts, face masks, all the things. So make sure to go check it out. I'll have a link in the description and make sure to, to subscribe if you are new and turn on post notifications so you will not miss when I post a new video. And anyways, I will see you in the next.